I mean, like I said, I feel like I was probably too aggressive back then, and I would be like, oh, we can just like fight and be done with it, right? Which. One, two, three, stop. And not enough people are talking about it. We all can make a difference. It starts right here. Hi, this is Mr. Daniel with Pandas Karate. And today we are doing our next uh, bully video series. And I have a special guest, Miss Lindsay Turnbull. Um, if you can, please tell the audience who you are and what you do in the community. Sure. So, hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm the owner of Miss Heard Media and we create empowering workshops and experiences for teen girls. And we do that through our community um, submissions-based blog where all the submissions are from teen girls around the world. Um, I have a bachelor's and a master's in history from the University of Central Florida. And while I was there, I worked with teen girls in a mentoring program. So I've been working with teen girls for about 10 years now. When I heard that, I was like, wow, I really need to get in touch with you and do something with you. So I'm really Thank glad you. that you're here today. <laughs> yeah, it's my um, pleasure. Yeah, so first question I wanted to really ask you is, did you or someone you know go through a bullying experience? Can you, can you please share us that story? Sure, I mean, I kind of feel like everybody gets bullied at one point or another. Um, maybe not in school, but everybody is bullied at some point or another, I feel like. And I was definitely bullied in middle school and high school especially in middle school um, and people would call me names and start rumors about me there was some like girl bullying which is a little different um, and there was some you know just some other things where people would call me names and really tease me and you know I don't know I feel like a lot of people probably have that experience sure sure I mean I, I went through that as well which is what encourages me of doing this video series but um, and I'm sorry to hear that you even went through that, but tell me, what did you do to get over that hum, to get over those, through those tough situations? Like, what really helped you out yeah. um, manage those tough times? Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I feel like I was probably too aggressive back then, and I would be like, <laughs> oh, we can just, like, fight and be done with it, right? Which is super not productive. Um, <laughs> I don't recommend that, by the way. Don't do that. Um, but one of the things I did do... Actually, as it happens, I did martial arts um, through part of middle school and all of high school, and it really helped me with the bullying situation because, you know, I would like go to my martial arts classes and I'd be surrounded by all these great people and I'd be doing something physical that made me feel really proud of myself. And so it kind of just made the whole bullying situation kind of less important because I had a great support system and I was doing things that I could be really proud of. I'm fascinated that you use martial arts to really build you up and to take you to where you are today. So it's really cool that, yeah. that you even had that background. Currently, I have other students who are dealing with bullying issues, and I'm sure that they would love to know if, you know, what your experience says, what should they do if they are in those tough situations, tough spots? I mean, what's your best number one advice you could give to them right now? Right. I know they're hearing this from everywhere and it's, you know, but just let it go. Like it's not, people are bullying because they're hurt or they're, something is bothering them in some other way and they're taking it out on you. It's not about you. And the things that you can do are to focus on the great things and the great people that you have in your life. So like the people in your martial arts studio or, you know, your friends or your neighbors or your whatever, some club you're involved in is to focus on the things that you do well and to focus on the people that lift you up um, and then all the other stuff will just kind of fade away to the background because you'll have a great support system and you'll be doing something that you really care about. It's that power of love thing, I think. I know. <laughs> yeah, it, definitely. It, it's amazing. Um, well, thank you so much, Lindsay, for being on our show today. Yeah, thank um, you for having me. If anybody wants to get in touch with you or follow you, what's the best way to, to do that? Sure. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot, at M-I-S-S. -S H-E-A-R-D mag or they can go to our website at MissHerdMagazine.com Awesome. Thank you again, Lindsay. Thanks. And thanks for watching the show. See you guys next time. We all can make a difference. It starts right here.